Choose dog. I'm more comfortable with poultry, to be honest, so that's why I chose that. Well, he batted that one away easily enough, so Jason tries something different. How are you going to justify serving that to the judges? Fargo ice cream with duck, you know, with a hot and cold. It's, it's one combination which works. I create a bridge in between, a salsa bridge, if you want to call it. Also the spices, but they really make a good transition from hot to cold. And duck is not served really, really hot. It's served just warm enough. He has every confidence in his duck, and he isn't overawed by the new boy's beef either. One of the smallest cattle. I mean, look at that for filet. You know, normally fillet is like four times the size of that, right? Yeah, it looks like a pygmy cattle to me. And these are tiny little things, Atul. They're like, I mean, I'm not the biggest of guys, and they're like, they're there. It's amazing. Atul is unmoved, but his young challenger had gone to the trouble of finding some very fine British beef. He journeyed southwest of the capital into the Surrey countryside and finished up on the outskirts of Guildford at Hatchlands Park. This beautiful National Trust property is teeming with over 100 Dexter cattle, and they were hungry. The herd actually comes from a nearby farm, but grazing here helps to maintain the landscape. Jason met up with Neil Williams, whose family own the petite cows. What really fascinates me is the size of the animal. Yeah, they're nice and small, but they can be just as strong. But they don't churn the ground up, which is good. They live here all year round, which is a much nicer life for them. Wonderful. Dexters are a hardy breed, descended from the black cattle of the early Celts in Ireland. Apart from a few calves, this lot are all females, and despite their sharp horns, relatively placid. So where are the men? Uh, the steers are over there in the other field, and the bull is right. back at the farm. You only keep one bull for all these females? Yes, because when he comes over, he just runs loose with them, and then the rest of the males go off for meat. Yeah, so he's a lucky one? Yes. <laughs> yeah. But back at Neil's farm, there was another lucky one, a calf called Emily. She was born when it was absolute torrential rain, really cold. If she had been left overnight, there was no way she would survive. So the best thing was to bring her back here, bottle feed her, and then return her to the herd at four months old where she can look after herself. Hungry little thing. Look at you. I've fed lots of other hungry people before, yeah. but never a cow. <laughs> and I'm happy to say that Emily has now rejoined the breeding herd. But before he left, Jason visited the farm shop to meet general manager Lynn Williams. Morning, Lynn. Morning, How are Jason. You? Fine, thank okay. you. Okay. Good, good. Uh, really looking forward to cooking it and good. tasting it. I mean, I've <laughs> used Dexter in the past. Yeah. But obviously, you know, because this is so exclusive, not from this particular farm. So. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not commercial at all. It is purely just from here. Really. I mean, you can see that with the the beautiful marbling and stuff, yeah. which is, you know, I've never really seen that marbling. Uh, in a normal beef before, which is amazing. Mm, a lot of this, I think, is down to our butcher. Yeah. It's ageing it. And... We're after sort of like a centre cut fillet. Yeah. What we can roast as one whole piece. I know. Mm -hmm. So we can take beautiful slice off it. So it's really nice and pink. Yeah. And that's hopefully fine. the judges are going to go for our beef. Yes. What do you I think? I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> they should do. It's nice beef. 